In Dearborn, hundreds of people gathered tonight to show their support for the Palestinian cause. CBS News Detroit's Kelly Vaughn has more. It was a night of strong emotions and passionate pleas. Discussions of potential peace between Palestine and Israel were tense. The common sentiment here tonight was there will be no peace without what they see as justice. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Crowds of Palestinian supporters filled the room, chanting and waving flags. We are not criticizing Judaism. We are criticizing Zionism. We are not extremists or anti-Semitic. We are criticizing a foreign policy. Many in the crowd have been in Palestine or were recently there. While in Palestine, I suffered greatly from the Israeli occupation. I was kidnapped by the occupation forces three times. Once they broke into my family's home, police, dog, police dogs attacked us. Some say they sympathize with the civilian lives lost in Israel, but say this conflict didn't start on Saturday. It's been going on for 75 years. Now, if you're, uh, if you're expressing support to Palestinians, automatically you're pro-Hamas. That's not true. I'm talking about Palestinians. I'm talking about innocent people. I'm talking about millions of lives. Many criticize the lack of support for Palestine from federal and state leaders. Everybody in this room, I want to introduce some people to you. Our Governor Gretchen Whitmore. Our Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. Our Senator Gary Peters. They're not here with us today because they were busy dancing yesterday. They say the only answer to this conflict is to free Palestine. Yes, we're here to tell the world, even though it may not seem that we have a lot of support right now, when time is over and history looks back at this moment, we were on the right side of history. Reporting in Dearborn, Kelly Vaughn, CBS News, Detroit.